My name is Petra. Welcome to my happy place. Um, this is a channel where we talk about crochet, a little bit about reading, and the overall factor here is Jesus and the fact that he's given me a talent, a gift, that I really am excited to be sharing with everybody else. Um, I'm going to get started. Let me just tell you a couple things that I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you some of my finished objects, my whips. Um, I'm also going to show you some acquisitions. And uh, we're going to talk about a couple things on Facebook. And uh, we're going to talk about goals. So, first I want to talk about my finished objects. I've got two of them. Um, I'm thinking that I've done more, but maybe I haven't. So I made another V scarf. And this is the yarn I used. Mr. Happy, can you make sure it's kind of showing? The yarn I used was the Pantone Bamboo, and it was the colorway Sand, uh, sand Castle. Sand Castle, okay? Um, I did kind of mess up the middle part, but you're not going to be able to, I mean, it really doesn't, it's not going to be, be that big of a deal. It's not going to be just as sharp as a V, but I think once I block it, it's going to be fine. Okay, now this other thing I posted on Facebook, but I don't think I ever showed you, um, or maybe I did, but it is one of those towels that you put on your head um, after you take a shower and you wash your hair, okay, and it dries your hair. This is made out of 100% cotton, the sugar wheel cotton from um, Yarn Bee. And um, this colorway, I believe, is called Paris Sunrise or Paris Sunset or something like that. Paris something or other. And like I said, I think I thought I did more. I know I did some adjustments to um, one of my uh, tops that I had made, and uh, I, I feel more comfortable with it because it's a little bit more covered here in front, and I really like that much better now. Um, as far as whips go, remember what whips are? They are works in progress. So I'm still working on my mom's vest, okay? I really haven't done a whole lot on it this week, um, but I did find the pattern, I should say outline. Uh, Jeannie from On The Hook Crochet, um, she does more of a outline. She doesn't call them patterns. She likes to say that they are just an outline. She gives you basic information and you take it from there and now this is no longer available on her um, YouTube channel can you see it Mr. Happy? okay um, but it's called the easy side to side sweater and I'm not actually making it a sweater I'm going to be making it into a vest so basically I'm um, I've got the back done and I'm going to be working from the side and then just going to kind of cut it off. I'm not going to complete it and then start here in the middle and go to the other side. That's how it's going to be worked. And I still have to do those. Um, it's one of those things that um, I've, I've done it before. Um, you know, I've, I've made the tops. Not that I'm considering myself a expert at this by any means, but the stitch is just a basic half double crochet, and I just get a little bit, it gets old after a while. Now, it's going to be a little bit challenging when I do the, um, the neckline on that, but it'll come. Okay, so let me put this away. Um, and then the other project I have is I'm still working on the uh, virus meets granny shawl. I just keep feeling like there's it's the same things that I've been working on, but 
I have been working on it. I have gotten pretty far on this now. I'm on the last um, granny section, and then I'm going to do one more of the virus section, and then I'm going to. That's going to be it. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do uh, any more sections. It'll be too big. I wanted it big enough not to be like a little wrap, but I wanted it to go really big. Um, and I'm in one of those kicks um, with the, the those um, V uh, scarves and so I'm making another one and this one I'm actually doing it <laughs> I did, did it funny in the first pattern but I actually got it here and I'm going to go ahead and do I think that there's going to be about another seven rows yeah, seven more rows, um, and this goes so quickly. I know I can finish it up this evening if I put my mind to it, but I might just call it a night later. Um, by the way, right now it is September the 4th, which is what? The fourth day of birthday month, right? Yay! And what am I doing special tonight or today to celebrate? I'm visiting with all of you, my Yarniac friends, all my uh, subscribers and guests and all my friends, all my sisters. I love you guys so much. Um, I love all the comments that you guys have been posting. I wanted to go over a couple things that people were mentioning. Um, my top that I was wearing in my Labor Day uh, video is a top that I had um, made from the outline of Jeannie's, one of Jeannie's uh, on the hook crochet. Um, and I basically just winged it. And please don't ask me for a pattern. I really don't know. I just basically took her ideas and measurements and just kind of did it. Um, <clears throat> and I used um, the ombre, uh, um, the ombre, uh, Red Lion Brand. Is that Lion Brand? I believe it's Lion Brand. Um, also, thank you all so much for all the sweet comments you made about my my sweet mom. She just thought it was a hoot and a holler to be able to to sit there with you guys. And I, of course, she wasn't reading any of the comments. She was I was relaying them to her, and she just had the best time. And as we were wrapping up. And I was going home. She, it was so cute. She come up and she gave me a hug and she said, "Thank you for letting me be on your TV thing." And it was just very sweet. She just felt very honored. And um, thank you so much for for letting her come in and join in our little yarn family. Um, Labor Day was nice. It was very quiet. Um, like I said, it was just the three of us, Mr. Happy, my mom, and myself, and we basically just have a nice little meal together, and we might do a little conversing, and then, uh, Mr. Happy wasn't feeling so well, so he came home, and then, um, I spent some more time with mom, and, um, we just had a nice time. She was, her hands are very, if they're getting, um, we think she might have either rheumatoid arthritis or something is going on with her left hand. It makes it very difficult for her to do much of anything. And um, bless her heart, I tried to get her to use a hook. She, she knows how to crochet, but it was just too much thinking involved for her to crochet. Um, she's a natural knitter but she knew that it was going to be difficult with her hand but would you know she actually completed a pair of booties now I had to give her um, booties for those of you <laughs> that aren't familiar with that term or what I consider we grew up with them um, are like little slipper socks <clears throat> they're just something that my mom and uh, when, when we grew up in Germany um, she had this at home, and I do this um, 
know, whenever I can. She does it at her house, but you take your shoes off. You don't wear your shoes inside the house, and <clears throat> especially in the winter time, everybody has their booties at the front door, and you slip them on, and that's what you wear around the house. Well, mom has a, um, a case of um, lymphedema, and although she's really starting to get it under control, it's still there, and she still has, has her, her legs and her, um, especially her ankles and her feet swell. And it's difficult for her to find anything that will fit her feet. Um, she has only one pair of shoes that she can wear at this point, and she's very... Um, she's disappointed because they're open-toed, they're like a sandal, and she's trying to find something that uh, she can wear in the winter months. Um, <clears throat> so that's one of the reasons why she's making these booties, and then she wants to, she's actually felt pretty good, her hands did really well. And she even got more yarn so that she can make a different pair out of smaller yarn. I was just so tickled. And she is just, she's so grateful that God gave her that ability to be able to crochet, to, to excuse me, to knit. And I told her, I said, we're not going to hold it against her. Are we, Mr. Happy? We're not going to hold it against her. So, um... She, she's excited about starting that up. I gave her a big hook so that she could finish up the, um, the ones that she started. That was a nice little sidebar. I also um, talked to one of my subscribers. I won't mention the name. But we were discussing how, um, you know, you have a, a large project. And sometimes just that monotony of that same stitch over and over and over, especially if there's no breaks, um, you're not doing a pattern necessarily. I don't know if any of you are working on the Jada and Stitches folk art blanket. If you are, you remember the monotony it was to crochet those double stitches back and forth and back and forth. And it is nice to be able to sit down and watch a TV show or whatever and kind of be mindless about it and then there was the transitions of the colors so that gave it a little bit of breakup but if you're doing a larger project it's always nice and I discussed discuss this with the little subby and and we were saying that I was just suggesting she have a different project to work on something smaller um, let's say finding a pattern for a hat or a um, or a scarf or even some little slipper socks or just anything anything to kind of break up that monotony try out a new stitch and make a little uh, cotton um, dishcloth but um, it's nice to have a couple works in progress um, that's the reason why I've got my three. Now, I didn't even talk about that Big Jade and Stitches blanket that I've got going. That's another work in progress, but it's going to be a while before I get that finished. I do plan on taking it to my little retreat um, in two weeks, and um, I'm really wanting, that's one of my number one things I want to do there, is just get all caught up on that. The other work in progress I do want to mention is that I still am working on the squares for uh, crochet for a cause. If you aren't involved in a some kind of a charity project, uh, I know there are several out there right now in the crochet community. And if you're involved in one, that's great. If you want to be involved in something um, and it's just minimal work, um, let me encourage you to, to find something, and if you don't know of any, um, I will uh, try to remember to put a link in the description box below for the Facebook page uh, of the group I'm in to make these little squares, okay? So, um, alright, I want to talk about some acquisitions. Now, my first acquisition was for this, this shawl, I'm about out of that, uh, the yarn that I was using. It's the um, yarn, uh, yarn bee 
the Katarina in the emerald blue colorway and so I needed to get some more of that um, it's just this it's it's beautiful I mean it's got purples and blues and greens and teals and uh, it's just beautiful so I had to get another one to finish that project um, while I was there I don't know if you remember but I made a top out of the sugar wheel the sugar wheel cotton and I just love it I loved working with it and I don't know if you remember but I actually had the frog the whole thing up until like oh goodness like eight eight rows um, I had it almost done I had to frog it all back if you're not familiar with that little story take a look on the Facebook page um, but <clears throat> I love that yarn so much and I loved working with it and I thought I need to make myself another one. So I'm, I didn't have a whole lot of that yarn left. I had to actually do some, in order to finish that project, I had to cut off at the end of certain colors so that the rows would be even. I didn't want it to, like this one, see how it kind of cuts off in the middle and it kind of looks odd. I didn't want that to happen. So what I did was, is I, when I went to Hobby Lobby, I decided I'm going to get another uh, colorway of the same yarn, same kind of yarn. It's the Sugar Wheel Cotton, but this one is called Fall for Frosting. And I just love those bold colors there, and I think it's going to make a really nice autumn top. Now I only got three of them. I'll probably have to end up going back, even though that's a thousand yards, I'll probably have to go back and get more so I can put some sleeves on it. But I just think it's going to be really pretty. Um, I wanted to explain something to you about these, any of these, uh, whether it's mandala, any of the cakes, okay, that are the striping. Okay, when you go in to a store, and you look for the colorway. You need to look at what the center is. Okay? Look at the center. The centers should match. Okay? I looked at all of them. None of these match. But the purpose of it is this. So, if you have um, the centers matching then the center will be the beginning or the, the last of it okay if you look at this the center is this teal color and there's just slightly that teal color they wind they wind the the yarn in such a way so that if you were to start with the center and end with this you should be able to take up right from the center of the next cake and it would be seamless but that doesn't it's not always available okay so what I learned from Mikey from the crochet crowd is if it's not available to do then just cut it and, and yeah you'll have some knots in it but it's better to cut it and be have a seamless color instead of having an abrupt color change and that's what I had to end up doing on the last hop I made I did have to cut a lot of the colors off and start from another place and I had to wind and rewind but it worked okay so I was browsing some new yarns that I hadn't seen before maybe I had and it just never occurred to me so you know I love this this yarn that DK soft and sleek I love it it's so pretty the colors it's it's a three weight I think it's a three weight yes yeah, a three weight light it's almost a two I mean it's so soft the only reason it's a, a three is because it has like little teeny fuzzes on it but um I love that yarn. I love that little, that's just sweet. Well, I found another one. Now this is called Sweet Divinity. 
Okay, that's what it looks like. This is from Hobby Lobby, okay? And um, it this one is very purple. It's 243 yards, which is not as much, okay? This other one here, this DK weight, is twice as much. This one has 478 yards. So it's not as much, but this is a four weight, okay? And um, I'm just thinking that that would just make a real cute, well, of course, you know, i got to do another one of those V scarves because I love them. They're so pretty. But just before I started filming, I looked at the colors, and would you know, look at this. Let me see here if I can pull this apart a little bit. That is going to go so nicely together. I just think it's going to be perfect. So I have now a whole outfit. Really nice. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a hat out of that. It's since it's a four weight, I might have enough to make a hat. I might have to go back and get another skin in order to make a hat and a scarf. Who knows? Okay. The last acquisition I have. Now this is going to be a not a long story, but the other day I was watching um, uh, the Creative Grandma. Okay. Now if you're if you're not familiar with her. That's her, that's her channel name, Creative Grandma, and um, her name is Glenda, and she is amazing, okay? She teaches stitches, she is very good, she talks about different yarns. It would take me probably several days to watch all of her videos, but she's so good. Well, the other day... I noticed she was going over a different yarn. Now, I've never heard of this yarn before. And I guess it's like the newest thing. And it's called Z Yarn. Okay, that's what this is. So I found it. I found it at Hobby Lobby. Now, they don't carry a whole lot of Lion Brand items, but they did carry this. And so I picked up a scan of it. And let me tell you about this. It's a uh, ZZ Twist, and um, it's by Lion Brand. It's 246 yards, and it's a four weight, okay? Um, they want you to use a J hook, which I don't know as if I would use that big of a hook. I probably would use an eye hook, but that's just me. Um, now, I'm going to put this up to the camera, and I really want you to focus on the twist of the yarn. See if you can see the twist, the how it's spun together. Okay? It's different. It actually looks like a rope. Okay? Now, I'm going to try to remember to link this in, but there's a, um, let me see what the website is, if I wrote it down. Um, I don't remember what it was. But it's, there's a website, and I, I did write it down. I took a note on it, and I'll, I'll put it down in the description notes. But apparently, I didn't know this, but there's a difference between knitting yarn and crochet yarn. I had not a clue. So, apparently, crochet yarn, which is ZZ Twist, and this is the only supposedly it's the only yarn specifically made for crocheting. Um, I don't know, does that mean that all the other yarns that we've been using for the last 50, 60, 70 years is just for knitting? I don't know. But apparently this yarn is twisted in such a way to make crocheting easier and faster and it's not supposed to split. So, I went ahead and picked up a scan of it. Now, they were running a, a sale on this. Um, they had about, I think they had about eight colors, but I wanted to get a neutral color that, where I could do up a sample for you. I'm not gonna do it tonight. But I think during the next live, um, I'm going to try to have a sample made up so I can show you, okay? Um, 
but it was $4.99 and if you your Hobby Lobby is having a sale of this mine is of having 30% off all the yarns um, so it was only like three dollars and nineteen cents or something like that so I thought it was well worth it to try anyway um, it is one I think it's 100% acrylic yeah it's 100% acrylic and they say one ball of it will make a hat so um, I'll just make a sample of it for you though and then if it works up good I'll let you know I'll let you know how it works up okay those are the acquisitions so Facebook I mentioned that earlier and I want to go back for those of you that missed the live um, there's two things on Facebook the first one is um, I have a poll and right now on the poll, um, I'm asking which one of three things would you like for me to show you, okay? I've got Tunisian crochet, I've got um, different stitches, how to make different stitches, and um, making stitch markers. I, I don't know what your interests are. Well, right now, um, new stitches different stitches is in the lead um, now I, I want to keep this poll going for the rest of the month so please make sure that you uh, go ahead and join the Facebook group we've got two people that are uh, accepting you know so moderating so that you don't you don't have it out there for too long uh, it's not gonna be pending for too long and um, and go on and vote, okay? Because in October, I want to take whatever it is that you've got that you say that you want to learn, and I'm going to see if I can figure out a way, set it up, so that I can show you guys how to do that, okay? All right, the other thing on Facebook, this is my birthday month, and I've got to make it special, okay? So I'm starting a new thing on Facebook where I want you to post your finished objects. Um, I want a picture of it. I want to know what yarn you use and the date you finished it. And if there's a pattern or whatever, if you want to put a link to it, that would be great. But I want one, um, up to four pictures for the whole month. Okay, only four objects. So basically once a week. And what I'm going to do at the end of the month, I'm going to write down your name four times if you've got four projects listed, three, however many you have, I'm going to put your name in a basket, and Mr. Happy is going to draw a name. And the winner of that particular drawing will get a little something in the mail. I don't, haven't decided what it's going to be yet, but it's just a little something to say, come on, you can do it great job let's crochet some more okay so um, I think this is going to be a great way for us to interact with each other and uh, encourage each other and spur each other on to greater greater crocheting okay. the main thing I want to talk about tonight is goals now um, I know it's a, it's 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 almost as bad of a word as organizing to some people they don't like to set goals. But I find that without some kind of end in sight, you are kind of lost. Okay? Um, you, you're not going to crochet a blanket without having a pattern and the yarn and the hook. Just like you're, you're not, you're not going to be able to complete that project. So think of a goal as a project and you just want to make sure that you have everything in place in order to complete it. So um, I'm going to share some of my goals and what I'd like for you to do is to share some of your goals in the comment section below. Okay, That's going to be what I'd like really like to know and if you want to even um, copy it or, or whatever onto the Facebook page too so we can include that in all of the comments and in that section people can comment on that too. Um, 
and it would be really nice if one of these goals were actually accomplished in the month of September and then you could put the picture up. Okay, so one of my goals is I have two, no, one, two, three tubs about yay big with scrap yarn. I would like to do something, make anything. I mean, even if it's something as small as a little amigurumi or a washcloth or a scrap bag or something, but I want to start using up some of that scrap yarn. That's goal number one. Goal number two is I already mentioned earlier, I really want to get caught up on that folk art blanket by Jaden Stitches. I'm, I'm just like, <clears throat> I have hardly any, let's see, I have nothing actually put on the blanket and I'm only about halfway through making all the different appliques that go on it. <clears throat> That's number two. Number three, I want to make 12 granny squares for crochet for a cause. Now, I've, I've got 11 made. I need to make one more and that's from my August. So I still need to make another additional 12. But that's those squares for me only take me about 15 minutes. So I can knock, knock that out easily. So <clears throat> that's the third one. Now my fourth goal, and this is the biggie, is I would like to complete two of my Christmas projects. I've got a list, and I just want to show you how many, now, you know, your name's not going to be, be on it or nothing, but I do have a little list, <clears throat> excuse me, of all of my projects that I want to complete for Christmas. For Christmas. I'm going to hold it way back here. It's just a full page. And I'm going to go ahead, and I've got some sticky notes about if I need yarn or if I need a certain whatever. If I might even have on there the the um, particular um, uh, pattern that I want to use. <clears throat> but I want to finish too. Now I know I'll be done with this one probably by the end of the week, if not the end of the weekend. Um, so that will be one down. Um, and I'll post all of, all of my pictures too. I'll post them. I'm not going to obviously not put my name in the hat, but I want you to see that I'm trying to, I want you to hold me accountable too. It just, it's not going to go just one way. We're back and forth here. We're all in this journey together. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So to wrap it up, let's have, um, comments in the comment section tell me your goals if it's just one goal that's awesome <clears throat> um, and if you come across if you're writing your goal and you see somebody else and it gives you an idea of another goal you can adjust it however you want and this is just this is not for a grade or anything like that this is just to help each other out and hold each other accountable and help each other accomplish these goals. <clears throat> okay, quickly, I'm going to go over five shout outs. Now, I don't want to call them shout outs, but let's give some love, all right? Let's give some loves. People are, Facebook is getting funny about what words you use, so <clears throat> I'm going to give some, uh, give some love and I want you to share it too. Uh, to these people, and I'm going to have the the um, direct links to their channels in the description box. <clears throat> so there's KFC 89 exclamation point. That's Kaylee, and she's been on for a while, but she changed her name. Something happened to her uh, her YouTube account, and she's had to start over. Next one is Red Gingerbread. And her name is Pam, and she's an over-the-road truck, truck driver, so show her a little bit of love, too. Uh, Joe's Web, that's Joe, obviously. Um, Chronically Crocheting, and her name is Crystal. And if you have any kind of um, issues, uh, physical issues that make it difficult for you to crochet, you, she might be encouraging to you. <clears throat> and the last one is Crochet A. 
um, with Sandy. Um, and her counterpart is Crochet B. That's her partner, George. So um, it's Crochet A E H. Um, she's from Canada. And if you don't mind, if you do happen to go over to their channel, please let them know that I sent you over there just to say hi. Um, so show them some love and support as well. Um, you can connect with me um, uh, via email, via happy mail, you know, snail mail, whether email or even if you want to put a comment, not an email, excuse me. I said that twice, didn't I, Mr. Happy? Facebook, email, snail mail, and then here on the channel, just put something, so put a comment in. I usually respond within the hour or so, even if I'm at work, much to the chagrin of my boss. But he doesn't know, so what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Okay, so, it, we, he doesn't watch them. He doesn't watch the shows. Okay, everybody, have a wonderful evening. This is the fourth... Um, the 4th of September. It's not going to be put out until the 5th, but I hope you'll have a wonderful evening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, Al.